Scorpio, welcome to Carl's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Reading from the Hearts. We're going to do your general reading for June 2018. Hope you guys enjoyed the live spread that I did recently put out. But now it's time for your generals, okay? So you got remember you've got a general and then you have, and you also have your love reading, okay? I'm on screen today because I felt like coming on screen. Excuse me. Um, sometimes you'll see me on screen, sometimes not. It's just really for new subscribers if they can't put a face to they should from my thumbnails really. But if you're wondering what I look like, this is what I look like, okay? If you haven't seen me before and if you're new to the channel or anything, okay? So we're gonna do general, we're gonna use the Rider Waite, my trusty Rider Waite tarot deck that I uh, usually always go back to. All of my the tarot decks I use generally have pictures on them because I often look at the directions of where people are facing and that type of thing. Um, we're also going to use the, depending on what type of reading it is, we're going to use either the Angels of Abundance or the Angel Answers. I think we're going to use the Angel Answers to start with. I'm going to have a look at what the message is for you today. Firstly, I'm going to start with a message instead. We'll do it the other way around because I tend to, sometimes when I do reading, sometimes forget, sometimes on occasion, to pull these cards at the end. So I really wanted to see what the message is for you guys in June via the Angel Answers, Tarot, uh, tarot Deck by Doreen Virtune and Radley Valentine, okay, so Universe Spirit, what's the message that you have for Scorpio for June 2018, what's the message that you have for Scorpio for June 2018, show me, alright, so your message this month is if you believe, I hope you can see that, and I'm really sorry that I'm using Movie Maker to record your video guys, I would use my camera, but it takes awfully long to, um, it takes a long, long time to convert those videos and actually put them up. So, yeah, I prefer to use uh, Movie Maker when I want to get the videos uploaded quicker. All right, so the, um, it's not every month that I will do that, use Movie Maker. Sometimes it's going to be the camera which shows a better picture. This picture is a little bit more blurry, unfortunately, on Movie Maker, but hey-ho. Uh, and I can't use Mavavi because it's shit. It keeps just cutting out and I'm done with it. I'll only ever use it to, to edit videos. So yeah, the, your message this month for June, Scorpio, is if you believe. And if you believe is whatever you make of it. So some of you guys, what I get from this message straight off is that some of you guys may be going through some turbulent times. You might have experienced something difficult within your life and it might be that you are finding it very difficult to have the strength to believe that things can get better and really that if the you believe card is really telling you to have faith okay if you believe that something can change for the better then it generally will it's really about changing your mindset so i think for june for scorpio it's all about changing your mindset and having a little bit more self-belief and a bit more faith no matter what you're going through sometimes what i find and it's the same for me sometimes when things are going great if you're a christian or if you believe in god we tend to praise god and we tend to say yeah God is great, God is this, God is that, and everything's going wonderful, but then as soon as things don't turn out our way, that's when everything changes, and we can't, like, oh, shit, where is God when I need, need him, and this, that, and the other, and really what we need to be doing is saying, you know what, no matter through the highs or through the lows, you've just got to believe in God, because if God carried you through the good times, he can certainly carry you through the bad, okay, so we're going to have a look at what's coming up for you now, let's shuffle the cards, Universe Spirit, give me the messages. What are the messages coming in for Scorpio in the month of June 2018? What are the messages coming in for Scorpio in the month of June 2018? What are the messages? What are the messages you have for Scorpio? I'm going to reverse the cards three times. What are the messages that you have for Scorpio in the month of June 2018? What are the messages that you have for Scorpio? General messages, please, because this is a general reading. What is the general messages that you have for Scorpio in the month of June? 2018 show me all right so we shuffled the card scorpio we're going to split the deck into three one two and three and we're going to collect this back up and let's just lay the cards let's put everything down at once wow okay you know there's certainly changes coming in around you guys all right um and it's going to be something that has to happen Okay, you, you seem to be putting, a, you know, putting back a lot of stuff. You seem to be halting stuff or stopping the natural order of things occurring. Okay, this is interesting. Um, reading. And a lot of people don't you like it when I use reversals, but I've always, you know, for a long time now I've used reversals because reversals tend to, there are four stages of a reversal. I only really remember three of them. That's protection, 
blockage and mirroring. Blockage is usually what we're doing when we're preventing. And I think that there's a lot of blockage reversals showing here that Scorpio might be preventing itself from doing certain things. Um, I feel that uh, there's the other reversal that looks at protection. It's when the universe will block you from doing something because it's not time yet. And mirroring is really just the reversed meaning of the card. Right now, you guys are showing us the Three of Cups in the reverse. So you're not willing participants at the moment. Three of Cups in the reverse, everybody explains these cards differently. So you'll find with a lot of tarot readers, you might hear a Three of Cups in the reverse being that there's problems with it, you know, problems within a friendship, for example. Or there might be a third party situation, especially if it's a love reading. This can be a love triangle when it's reversed, that type of thing. How I look at the Three of Cups in the reverse, if the upright is all about, now this is what I call the mirror position because when it's reversed, because this is you now. Now, I feel that this isn't about you blocking. This is simply that you're falling out with someone. I think that because this is showing as you guys, Scorpio, Three of Cups in the reverse, it's showing that either you're not working uh, in a partnership with someone or, or a group, you're not you're finding it very difficult probably to work in within a group some of you guys might have even withdrawn from a group of people because three of cups in the reverse in the upright it's all about joy and happiness and celebration and parties and success and good news and when it's reversed this indicates that you know either you're withdrawing from the group of friends with the three of cups in the reverse for whatever reason that is or it could be that you decide that you don't want to work within a team. You don't want to work together with a group of people, for example. It might suggest that you're feeling unhappy. It might even suggest that you turn down an invitation with that Three of Cups in the reverse. So I think that for some of you Scorpios at the moment, you might be feeling as well with the Three of Cups in the reverse. A little bit of an outsider in a group as well. So for some of you guys, it might be that. But I feel that if you are feeling set apart from a group of people, whether that be your friends whether that be your family, Scorpio, I feel that this is what you are at the moment. Some of you guys are withdrawing from a group of people. You might have fallen out with a friend as well. Now, as a result of that, the energy around you is the Wheel of Fortune. Things are about to change concerning that because the Wheel of Fortune is all about change, okay? Sometimes this card can indicate unpredictability. Things change when you least expect it. Sometimes when the Wheel of Fortune um, shows up in a reading, it's actually telling you, that you know there's going to be because the wheel of fortune is a neutral card so we would never say with the wheel of fortune things are turning for the better if you've got the five of pentacles before the wheel of fortune it might be that you are going through a time of financial turbulence but the wheel of fortune will probably tell you well actually things are going to change all right now five of pentacles might be that you're bankrupt for example you go bankrupt and that wheel of fortune might come in and then you've got a card showing after that wheel of fortune and it might tell you actually things are actually going to take a turn for the worse you know, because it's telling you the Wheel of Fortune is always changing. It never stays the same. So it doesn't always mean that luck is on your side. We're going to see where this card is turning to anyway. There's going to be a change around this because you guys are showing us the Three of Cups right now. So you might be have fallen out with a friend. You might be an unwilling participant. You might have... Them. Also, the Three of Cups in the reverse means a lack of agreement as well. Because in the upright, this is all about partnerships and agreements. Okay? But usually because when you do tarot, look at the elements of the card as well. That's something that I learned very important when I started doing tarot, and it's something that tarot teachers will often teach you. Look at what are the elements, because that's how you'll build your story. So if the three of cups, if cups are all based on love and union, what cups want and what cups actually desire is peace, and they, the, the, the cup energy desires union. The cups only ever desire something good, even in a four of cups, for example, even in an eight of cups. If you're the four of cups, sometimes you don't want something because you think there might be something better. Everything is done with a cup energy in the power of positivity. So the three of cups is all about joy, friendships. Now, if you're falling out with a friend or you're unwilling to participate in a whatever partnership this is, and the partnership should be one of joy and happiness, but you're unwilling to participate in that and you've withdrawn from it, okay, then it's possibly in terms of your emotions, Possibly in terms of your happiness, maybe you're feeling a little bit withdrawn like that. Maybe, as I said, some of you guys have withdrawn. I don't think it's an invitation or a party you've withdrawn from. Some of you guys might have done. But I think that whatever this is, you've withdrawn from it. You're, your heart's not in it. Whenever a cup is reversed, your heart simply isn't into the situation. And as a result of that, you've got the Wheel of Fortune coming in. So around you in June is going to be the Wheel of Fortune, where this is probably going to change. We'll see how it changes. Because the root issue... What's underpinning all of this, Scorpio, is the Tower Reverse. The Tower Reverse is all about trying to avoid chaos, okay? It is really all about trying to avoid chaos. 
So I'll give you an example. When the tower reverse shows up, if you do a tail one day draw, if, you, if any of you guys read tarot yourselves and you pull a card for the day. So you get up in the morning, you say, what's going to happen in my day today? And then you get this card coming out on top, Scorpio. It might simply be that what happens in that day is something that you're unex that's unexpected, but something that's in your control. So this, for me, is the card about damage limitation when this shows up. Okay, so it might be that you've withdrawn three of cups in the reverse from a partnership, from a friendship. Maybe you don't want to work with a group of people, for example, with the three of cups reverse, because the root issue is all about damage limitation, tower, reversed. You're trying to prevent chaos. You're trying to prevent something bad from happening. So if I pull this card in my day, the other day um, I did, I've got one of those tarot laps. I like to see what their explanations are for the cards. And my card came up as the tower reverse last week. And in my apartment, there was a spider that ran out of me. I was at my sister's overnight, came out. And people say you shouldn't kill them, but I don't like them. A lot of people don't. And I killed it because it's damage imitation. I don't want it in my place, you know. I want to see where it is. So that was all about damage control. So some of you guys, and like yesterday as well, I was at the library, did another reading for myself in the morning before I went out, what's coming into my day. The tower reverse came up for me again. And I was at the library and somebody had told me about a particular member of my family who was posting particular videos on her Facebook page. So I went to take a look, hadn't spoken to this person in eight years because we don't get on. And uh, I still love her though. I still love her very much. She's one of my sisters, adore her. Well, I don't adore her, but I do, lo I do love her. There's no animosity. That's one thing I learned to let go of years ago. Don't hold any bad feeling against anybody, no matter what happens. And uh, I accidentally, on her page, pushed the hug button. <laughs> the hug button on FB, on Facebook. And I quickly, quickly managed to unhug her because I didn't want her coming back to me and saying, why the fuck are you contacting me, blah, blah, blah. So this is all about damage imitation. So I think that some of you guys have fallen out with a group of people. You're showing us a three of cups in a reverse. You're not willing to participate with a group, people, family, whatever it is. Three of Cups, the Cups usually refer to friendships and family. So some of you guys have probably pulled out of a family situation or a friendship because the root issue is all about damage and limitation. You're trying to prevent something from happening. Now, in the recent past, a lot of you guys probably enjoying the sun because it has been very sunny over in the UK. It's probably very sunny in other parts of the world as well, like America and um, in Germany or wherever it is that you're watching me, but you've probably been enjoying the sun or enjoying a very positive uh, time in your life, Scorpio, with that sun in the recent past. But your challenge is the page of pentacles in the reverse. You're not putting any effort into a situation, you see. Now, the page of pentacles in the reverse, in the upright, now this is a pentacle. So remember your elements when you're doing readings. Pentacles are to do with hard work. They're to do in put, with putting effort into situations in which you want a positive outcome. And the Page of Pentacles, because it's a student and it's learning stuff, what it's trying to learn to do with this pentacle is how to be responsible. This card is all about how you manage your money because you might have a shortage of money and you're going to have to learn how to use the resources that you've got. So for some of you guys, you might not be using the resources that you have at the moment. Your challenge is using the resources that you have. What are the resources that you have? Is it how you mend a friendship, for example? Do you see where I'm coming from? Because you guys have probably fallen out with someone. It looks like a friendship, a family situation. It's all about, for you, damage limitation, preventing some form of chaos, which is why you've pulled out. It seems that you've been really happy in the recent past, but your challenge is, is that you're not approaching the situation because the Page of Pentacles is all about being responsible and studying a situation and knowing how to work within that situation, no matter how difficult it might get. But in the reverse, it might not be, it might be that your challenge is that you're not using the resources that you have possibly to mend this, which is why the energy around you will be the Wheel of Fortune in June. Then if you're not going to do anything about this situation, Scorpio, then the universe is probably going to come in and deal with it for you. Because this is all about fate and destiny. And when the Wheel of Fortune comes in, Scorpio, you don't really have a choice. Okay, so it's the, the uh, Wheel of Fortune is doing the job that the Tower Reverse won't do. Because both Tower Reverse and Wheel of Fortune are very similar in the way that they look at situations that we don't deal with. If you won't deal with a situation, the Tower, if it's upright, will force you to deal with it. But because the tower is reversed, it's all under your control at the moment. And you probably think in the recent past, yeah, I'm safe, I'm okay. The sun, everything's looking up because I don't need to deal with this situation. But the universe is saying, well, Scorpio, you're going to have to deal with it because we're going to do something that's going to force you to deal with it. 
The most likely outcome will be the King of Cups. Now, that could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancerian person around you, or it could be yourself. Um, no matter what this Wheel of Fortune brings in for you, Scorpio, the King of Cups being the card of Scorpio as well, if this is you, you will be okay. You're not going to sink. You're going to swim, because if you look at the King of Cups, he's sitting on a throne of water. And what does that suggest to you, Scorpio? It suggests to you that no matter what the bad times are, no matter what the turbulent waters are, which is what the King of Cups is sitting on, he's actually doing okay. He's not sinking. And really, he's not sinking because he's got faith. Because the Cups are all to do with, remember, optimism, faith, hope, joy, looking for a positive resolution to a situation. So the most likely outcome is, no matter what that universe brings in, with the Wheel of Fortune, you won't sink with this King of Cups energy. You're actually going to swim. However, my problem is that you've got this judgment coming into the immediate future. And the judgment card in the immediate future still talks about non-resolution to a situation. So something still isn't being resolved here. After when judgment is reversed, it tells you you're not facing up to a problem. You know, you're not listening probably to your better judgment. You're probably ignoring what other people have said to you as well with the judgment card being reversed. You're not solving the situation. Again, you're pushing it underneath the carpet. And influence is coming in. That's the immediate future. What you're going to experience is the ton of coins in the reverse. And when we get the ton of coins in the reverse, it talks about unstable family situations. So what you'll experience again is a very unstable family situation with the Ten of Coins in the reverse. A lot of you guys are probably going through a very tenuous situation. It could be with a friend or family, judging by that Three of Cups reverse. For some of you guys, it might be instability concerning finances, especially if this is anything. We don't have a lot of financial cards though around, to be perfectly honest, but we've got two. Uh, ten of Coins and we've got a, an outcome card that's got a pentacle on it as well. But you're experiencing probably, uh, when you get Ten of Coins reversed, this is all about arguments within the family, disruption within the family. Because in the upright, this is about a stable, secure family environment. When you get the Ten of Coins in the upright, this is all about joy and wealth and love and happiness. Your wealth is in your family with the Ten of Coins. But when it's reversed, there is no wealth here. Everything has dissipated. So some of you guys are going to be experiencing however you want to read that ten of coins, whether it's your work, whether it's your family, whether it's your friendships, it's an unstable foundation. Because your hopes are probably, with the hermit reverse, to completely isolate yourself. Hermit reverse usually isolates itself because it's been hurt. Or through some form of hatred. Now I'm not saying that you guys hate, but what I'm saying is, is that this is the card of completely isolating yourself from a person, a group of people. It's not seeking, because seeking is in the upright. In the reverse, it's completely shutting yourself down. And some of you guys probably think that you can hide from the situation with the hermit reverse. The outcome for June is, you guys, you're still not doing it, are you? The eight of coins, you're putting the least amount of work into this situation. You're making the least amount of effort. Um, if you believe, and this is why I think that this card showed up, Scorpio, for you. If you believe that you can rectify a situation, you can but your challenge is you're not using the power of what you have. You're not using your resources to, uh, to rectify it, whether it's the resources, the power of the pen, or the power of the computer, <clears throat> or picking up a telephone. Because the pentacles are all about the work that we do. They're the worker cards. So they talk about putting the effort into situations. I don't believe it's a financial reading. I think it might be a family or a, a friendship or something like that that you guys have experienced something in that you're not willing to put any effort in. But if you're not willing to examine it with this Page of Pentacles in the reverse, because the challenge is, as well with the Page of Pentacles reverse, this is a lazy dude. This is a lazy dude. This guy expects everything to come to him with minimal effort being made. In the upright, he'll work for what he wants because he's got a focus and he's got a vision. He's just starting out. But he's willing to apply whatever he's learned towards building whatever the venture is. In the reverse, this person doesn't want to do that. This is the person that doesn't turn up to university lectures and expects to wing it when it comes to exam day. So you're not using the power of your resources to solve this situation. And I'm not talking about money. This can be the card where you give a gift, for example. And you say, there you go. There's a gift offering. You guys seem to be not working towards trying to make a resolution on a situation here. 
We're going to get some clarifiers on the go. I want to see uh, what the reason is. So when I do the clarifiers with this reading, the secondary card will tell me what the first card is about. So what's the Three of Cups in a reverse? Why is Scorpio showing as the Three of Cups reversed? Why is Scorpio showing as being the Three of Cups reversed? The chariot just flicked out. I think that you guys... See, I could read this two ways. Number one, the chariot can mean that you're trying to move on from a situation. Number two, I'll read it three ways. The chariot can also mean that you've got baggage. So you might, some of you guys, it might be that what's happening here with the chariot, and I could read it, it depends on how you want to read the cards. See, tarot is an art, and tarot is not easy. It really isn't an easy thing to do. Trust me on that. It takes years and years and years of study, and every single one of these tarot readers on YouTube, no matter how amazing they are, whatever, will always study, study, study. They'll carry on studying probably to the day they die. That's what tarot is. It's a lifelong commitment to finding out what these cards are. Some of you guys, you're not cooperating. Three of Cups in the reverse is a lack of cooperation. So some of you guys aren't co uh, cooperating. It could be with a Cancerian individual, the chariot. Some of you guys will not want to cooperate. You will have had a falling out. It might be to do with the chariot energy. Chariot energy can also be somebody who is a little bit of a show-off, somebody who is arrogant. Uh, somebody who believes that they are the one that's in control. So some of you guys won't be able to co uh, cooperate, or won't be cooperating with a Cancerian, or somebody who's probably a little bit arrogant um, and who's not willing to cooperate with you. Some of you guys won't be cooperating with a situation. It might be because you're travelling, so that it might that lessens the effect of the first car. Then it might be that you've got a very good reason why you've had to pull out of something here. For some of you guys, it might be that you are carrying a lot of baggage because the chariot represents when you have. Uh, two opposing forces or external struggles that you're trying to bring together so that you can move forward. So for some of you guys, it might be that you've got a bit of struggles going on here, which is why you, at the moment, cannot pay attention or can't put your attention on family or friends or that type of thing. Now, the root issue is all about the tower reversed. And let's get why the tower reverse is the root issue. Why is the tower reverse the root issue? Why is the tower reverse the root issue for Scorpio? The Nine of Cups in the Reverse. Well, the Nine of Cups in the Reverse, this can be read, some readers will read this as, be careful of what you wish for. Or this, some readers will say that somebody is, um, with the Nine of Cups Reverse, you've been overindulging too much. In a, you know, whether it's drink or whether it's food. I often look at the Nine of Cups in the Reverse in which your wishes aren't being fulfilled. So some of you guys are probably trying to damage, sorry, trying to limit some form of damage. You're trying to prevent some chaos, possibly with the Nine of Cups in the Reverse, because, I mean, I could say because you know for sure that it's going to bring or it's going to end up very badly or it's going to end up in a very kind of negative way if that Nine of Cups in the Reverse makes sense to you. Because the Nine of Cups in the Reverse represents unhappiness. It represents a lack of contentment. It represents, when I read the Nine of Cups Reverse, that your wishes aren't being fulfilled. So for some of you guys, it might be that you're trying to prevent something from happening here because you don't feel that the end result is going to result in something that you're going to be happy about or it's going to result in some harmonious fulfillment of the situation. Because remember, as I've said, when the Cups are reversed, they represent a lack of contentment, a lack of emotional fulfillment. And this is the Wish card. So think about the star reversed, wishes not being fulfilled. In the upright, the star is a wish card, same as the nine of cups, wishes being fulfilled in the upright, wishes not being fulfilled in the reverse. So some of you guys, you're trying to, I think, prevent a situation from happening here because you probably don't think it's going to turn out very well or you probably think it's not going to end up benefiting you maybe with that nine of cups in the reverse in any way, shape or form. I would say benefiting you. Because the Nine of Cups in the, in the upright always benefits us. Whenever a wish is fulfilled, it's always going to benefit you. And I think that some of you guys are deciding to prevent doing something with the Tower reversed. Trying to limit the amount of damage that could be caused in the situation because you don't feel that there's going to be a beneficial outcome with the Nine of Cups reversed. Uh, in the recent past, you guys have experienced the Sun. And why has Scorpio experienced the Sun in the recent past? Because of the Page of Swords. Now, it depends on, remember with the tarot, it depends on what your first thought is of the card. So these cards have many, many meanings. So you pick generally, well, what meaning would you attribute to that card? So for me, the page of swords in the upright is all about the delaying messages. Okay, so you experience the sun. Now, the sun isn't always about happiness. The sun is also about clarity. The sun can be about anger as well. Burning anger, for example. 
some of you guys might be with this sun and a lot of people will probably read this combination differently but this is how i look at the tarot okay if i have a negative card with a positive one and the page of swords can be i mean it depends some people would read that page of swords as being an email message so some of you guys it might be that you guys have experienced something really positive in the recent past you might have received a message via email and text or text by a particular person and you might well have done that but the page of swords in the upright can also be an argument the page of swords in the upright can also be concealment and it can be a delay to a message as well tricky tricky card to try and read i'm going to try and get clarity on that page of swords actually what's the page of swords reversed about what's the page of swords reversed about Right, there's Queen of Coins reversed. So I think when you get Queens or Kings reversed, it means that they're not around often as well. So they might have left a situation. Okay, it might be. I think this is a delayed message because it's from a Queen of Coins in the reverse. So Queen of Coins reverse can be somebody that's no longer around you or somebody who's decided to leave a situation. But Queen of Coins again reverse can be somebody who's quite vain and quite consumed. However, I don't think that you'd be feeling happy. I don't think that you'd be feeling happy with that sun energy, but then the sun also would probably need to be reversed. Okay. I think that actually you have experienced something positive. I think that you've received a message. I'm going to go with the message thing off the page of swords. I think you probably received a message here. could be via email or text from a queen of coins in the reverse. This is probably somebody who's been very consumed with themselves. For example, somebody who's very focused on themselves is what the queen of coins in the reverse is. This is somebody who doesn't share her time, doesn't share her resources, doesn't share her wealth. So this might be why you're falling out with this person, because of the chariot. There might be struggles in a partnership here, because the chariot represents opposition and opposing forces. So I think that you guys have probably fallen out with a person, with this three of cups in the reverse. I think you're showing as withdrawing from a friendship here. It could be because there's been struggling, there's been struggle, sorry, with the chariot energy in keeping this friendship on the straight and narrow. And I feel that you guys have avoided with this tower energy, trying to resurrect this situation or dealing with it because you don't think there's gonna be any ben anything beneficial for you as being the root issue. And I think that in the recent past though, you guys might have experienced something happy when you received maybe a text message from a queen of pentacles in the reverse or for some of you guys if you look at the sword no he's not facing in he's facing in on the sun not on the queen of coins energy showing here so often as well when i look at the page of swords and i look where that sword faces can you see how it faces towards the sun wherever i see that page of swords facing it's willing to it's ready to smash in on whatever it is it's facing so I actually think that you guys in the recent past, just looking at the direction of that page of swords and the fact that it's ready to cut. If you think about the swords as the cloud and the swords are actually communication and ideas, I think that this is about a break in your happiness. And I think it's true somebody who you don't get on with, this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. I don't think this is a positive message. I think that you've been disturbed by an individual in the recent past. I think there's an argument that's happened here because that Page of Swords facing into the sun suggests to me, Scorpio, that the Page of Swords is ready to break that sunshine. So it's almost like when you know when it's a sunny day and then you get a break in the clouds. That's what the sun, the Page of Swords facing in on the sun looks like. It's ready to break in, break up that sunshine. So you might have been feeling happy, but then I think in the recent past, what's happened is you've had a message from the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse this would be probably quite a negative message i feel from an individual in the recent past and your challenge is the page of pentacles reversed let's have a look at what this page of pentacles reverse is about love invitation you guys aren't willing to put any effort page of pentacles any work page of pentacles reversed into offering love to this person into reconciling your differences because when you get the ace of cups this is about offering love this is about offering an apology okay this is about offering an apology now if you thought about the page of pentacles look at him upright look where he faces usually when you get the ace of cups or any cup card facing in on a pentacle like this somebody's asking for your resources they're asking for something to you 
okay but the challenge is and it might be because the ace of cups is a scorpio cancer pisces card it might be and this page of pentacles reverse is the same as the queen of pentacles reverse i think the challenge isn't you i think it's this person i think that this person is not willing to give anything of their time or their help to you scorpio i think you've asked something of someone here scorpio and this person's turned you down with that page of pentacles in the reverse you can see it's reversed and you can see the page of pentacles is facing the pentacle the other way they're not like a baseball like a, a, a basketball game they're not willing to put the ball into the into the basket you know so they're not willing to contribute anything and i think that somebody i think this queen of pentacles has said to you scorpio i'm not willing to contribute to you i'm not willing to help you whether it's a financial thing it might be financial for some of you guys you might be turned down financially on a situation but i think this queen of pentacles reverse judging by the page of pentacles is reverse and the ace of cups is holding its hand out you can see the page of pentacles the pentacle isn't being put into the cup there's no offer here so i think the challenge is, is that you're not getting something from an individual it might be financial support it might be food it's some form of support but it's support in the nature of something that you really need i'm not just going to use the words effort and things like that i think there's something that some of you scorpios really need and somebody's not giving it to you and i think it's this queen of pentacles i think that you've had a break in your happiness i think that your happiness has been kind of overshadowed by that page of swords by the message that you received from this queen of pentacles in the reverse being that the challenge is that this person whoever this person is she could be a capricorn taurus virgo person she could be a financial person like a bank manager a financial advisor it could be a sister it could be a mom whoever it is this person's not willing to help you however what you've got is this wheel of fortune coming in as a result of that let's have a look at why the wheel of fortune is here yeah you're going to find that your problems i think this person might relent because again we've got a pentacle and i'm following it through on the pentacle energy okay okay so i think that sorry my twin sister we're going to kent this weekend so she's really excited we're going to see some friends and stuff so she's really excited about it and she's saying we're going to go in for walks with the doggy she says okay so i think you're going to have a break here it's good because somebody with this two i think it's this queen of pentacles this whoever this person is to you scorpio the person who seems not to want to give this person's going to give because the two of coins in the reverse means to relinquish it means to when you've got it in the upright somebody's trying to juggle something here when it's in the reverse finally there is a relinquishing of something that somebody's been trying to juggle so this is about dropping a burden so i'm seeing a change coming in here with the wheel of fortune in which a burden is going to be dropped whether it's through this queen of pentacles or through another way i see a burden being dropped with the two of coins in the reverse the most likely outcome will be king of cups let's have a look at why the most likely outcome is the king of cups i think around you see this change is coming in in which the burden will be dropped and the most likely outcome as a, a result of all of that energy will be i think this is you guys potentially you guys looking at somebody who is surrendering finally and i wouldn't be surprised if it was that queen of pentacles reversed because we've got the queen of coins reversed we've got the page of coins reversed and we've got the two of coins reversed now queen of coins reversed is not a great card when it's in the reversal because she's not open to helping anyone she really isn't she's all about herself the page of coins is in the reverse it's not a great card because it means that somebody's not putting the work in they're not putting any effort in they're not helping you they're not offering you anything pretty much a lazy ass and you've got the two of coins reverse which is the more positive of all those reversals because it says a burden is being dropped or somebody might be transferring money to you for example so i feel that you know you're going to have some fortune here whichever way this plays out for you scorpio there's going to be some fortune here as you see a burden being dropped and i think this is you guys scorpio i think finally you're going to look at this person you're going to look over at this person you're going to see they've taken their barrier down so i'm seeing somebody who finally after all of this time and all of this difficulty what you'll find is that finally this person relents because i think you've got a person around you and this is why you've got the energy around you if you believe that this situation can be resolved it will get resolved and i'm seeing the most likely outcome as being this person will want to resolve this situation with you however we do have the judgment energy in the reverse let's have a look at what that's about what's the judgment energy in the reverse about okay so 
I think that you're having maybe an unfair judgment put on you. It's by a king of swords. I don't know who this person is. This person will be, it could be the husband or the partner of this queen of coins in the reverse. Judgment in the reverse can also mean poor judgment or a bad judgment being made on an individual. And it could be via a king of swords. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I think that there are major players in the reading this month. I think you've got beef with an individual who hasn't helped you. And I think the most likely outcome could be that they finally surrender and they decide, okay, I'm going to help Scorpio out. But you've got a judgment being made to you by a king of swords. Also, it might be that somebody's not telling you something. It might be this king of swords. It might be that there's something going on behind your back because judgment reverse means that there's secrets and things not being resolved concerning a king of swords so if this isn't about an unfair judgment from a king of swords it might be that coming in you've still got somebody else that you need to resolve something with and it might be that finally you may get some leeway with one person but there's another individual here who you've still got some problems some beef going on with and you're going to experience coming in scorpio this ten of coins reversed high priestess reversed okay so I think that you, um, God, how many people, because high priestesses can be read as people as well. She's usually a Pisces lady though. But the high priestess in the reverse talks about somebody who is very, very anxious, somebody who's very frustrated and somebody who has a temper on her, somebody who also possibly can just fly off the handle. So it might be what you experience are arguments in the family, ten of coins in the reverse with a person who can possibly just fly off the handle at any point. It looks like you've got some family issues going on here, man, for the month of uh, June 2018 because you've got judgment reverse and i think that a situation still isn't being resolved with another individual this king of swords and i think that you've got arguments probably some unstable energy happening within the family ten of coins reverse with a very angry individual a very frustrated individual high priestess in the reverse okay it might be that she's angry that you're not resolving something with this king of swords hopes or fears of a hermit reversed see what this is about so your hopes are to isolate yourself from an agreement. It might be that you're deciding your hopes are actually, you know, maybe I've got... Because I think what's happened here is that in the month of June 2018, Scorpio, I think you've probably got two to three people around you that you've got issues with. Now, there's one person that things can get resolved with. Because I think it's that this person comes to you and says, OK, let's resolve the situation. But then you've got another person, and this might be your brothers or your sisters as well. So it might be a family matter, all right? I think for some of you guys, you've still got that problem, though. A situation's not being resolved with a king of swords, with another individual. And he'd be a far more difficult person. He's not reversed, so he's not shown as necessarily nasty. But you've still got an issue, I think, that's unresolved with the judgment card in the reverse with this King of Swords. And I'm seeing an argument here, ten of coins in the reverse, or unstable family energy. It could be an argument over money, for example, family situation. It could also be maybe legal, maybe there's something about an inheritance, that type of thing. But I'm seeing frustration. There's a woman who's very frustrated here, this uh, high priestess in the reverse. Uh, and I'm seeing an argument with somebody who's very frustrated here. I'm seeing that you want to withdraw... The hermit in the reverse with this two of cups so from this partnership from an agreement you don't want to put, pay any part into agreeing with this situation with this person so i think that there's one person you resolve a situation with but it's only because they come to you and they say actually actually i do want to resolve this situation however there's another individual that i'm reading here and there'll be no resolution with that individual and your hopes are not to participate in any form of an agreement with this individual because the Hermit is a non-participatory card, a non-participant non card, and the Two of Cups is all about agreements. And the outcome showed as the Eight of Coins, not putting any effort or working with the Eight of Coins in the reverse. So let's see why that is with the, um, what this is about. What's the Eight of Coins reversed about? The Emperor. I think that basically this is you guys not working on trying to stabilise the situation. Possibly put, not putting any effort in and drawing boundaries around this individual or this person or this situation. But not putting any effort really into stabilising because the uh, Emperor is all about bringing stability and security towards a situation. Building a strong foundation but not putting any effort into trying to build this foundation up. 
I think it's an interesting, and this is why I think that you've got three of cups here. I think this is a falling out with two to three people that you guys are involved with at the moment uh, because of the chariot. And it's about the chariot. It might be with the chariot energy that there are just too many opposing forces, too much to try and control at the moment. It might be a family situation as well. Chariots represent family situations. We're going to quickly go through this reading one more time. Um, in the month of June 2018, Scorpio, I think that you guys have fallen out. You might have fallen out with a Cancerian or somebody probably who's overly controlling the chariot, can be an overly controlling individual. Or you're falling out with a person because the chariot is all about, you know, there's too many, there's too many things that you're trying to control at the moment in this situation. And it's getting very, very difficult because the root issue is all about you trying to prevent some damage here. And why are you trying to prevent damage? Because you don't think that if you work on the situation, it's going to lead to any type of benefit in the long run. Um, I think in the recent past, your joy has been spoilt, I think, with this page of swords facing in on the sun by a very kind of spoilt, possibly narcissistic or very sort of mean individual. I don't mean she could be mean spirited, but more very mean with her resources. Somebody who's not willing to give something or help you out in any way, Scorpio. And I think your challenge is, is that you have asked for help, but I think with the page of coins in the reverse, it's probably been turned down from this queen of pentacles however as a result of that the energy around you will be that there's going to be a change and the universe will bring this change to you in which it will enable you to let go of these burdens especially maybe some form of financial burden as well with the two of coins in the reverse i think it might be via this queen of pentacles person here okay or some of you guys it might be that you're experiencing positive change in which you drop the situation altogether I think if you drop the situation, then this is you as the King of Cups just saying to yourself, you know what, I have faith, I'm not worrying about it, and I'm just going to give up on the situation, Seven of Wands in the reverse. I'm not going to carry on fighting this. If this is the Queen of Pentacles helping you guys out, this individual who finally relents with that Wheel of Fortune and Two of Coins in the reverse, I feel that this is you guys looking at finally somebody who decides to take down their guard and help you out. However, I do feel, Scorpio, you do have some form of issue judgment showing here there's an unresolved it could be an unresolved legal situation it's an unresolved matter with the judgment energy in the reverse with the king of swords this is another individual here that you'll need to tackle and navigate in the month of june for some of you because i'm seeing some arguments happening ten coins in the reverse can be family arguments with a high priestess reverse a very frustrated person this might be just another person around you Okay, uh, and I think that um, the Hermit reverse is you guys hoping that you can stay away from having to agree or make any type of alliance. I think mainly with this King of Swords character. And therefore, the outcome is you guys not working towards trying to build a foundation up again with this individual. I think it might be that you're either going to not work towards building a foundation with two people in the month of June 2018, or it could just at least be one. There's two to three people that you guys probably aren't going to want to try and work things out with. Or I think there might be one to two people that you don't want to work things out with. There's, there's one to three people I think that you're just going to decide that you don't want to work with. And your advice is if you believe. So if you believe that this can be rectified, it certainly can. Okay, it really, really can, but it's whether you believe this can be rectified or not. Okay, so I think that the universe is saying, well, it's down to you, because some of you guys, we know that Scorpios can be very, very stubborn when we think that there's been some form of atrocity that has been leveraged against us. We tend to go into a shell and we don't forgive, and that would definitely, I feel, be a Scorpio hermit reversed. Even though it's a Virgo card, I can definitely see this being a Scorpio, because you don't want to have an agreement, you don't want to shake hands. Your hopes are probably, well, I don't want to shake hands on this situation. And therefore, the outcome is not working towards trying to build a solid foundation again with the Emperor Energy showing there. So even you can read it how you want. Some people say my readings are negative. I just pull the cards, guys, and whatever comes out, comes out. If a reversal shows up in a reading, guys, it's meant to be there. There's been plenty of times that I've done reverse readings for loads. and I've read for thousands of people, not thousands, hundreds of people, I would say. And, you know... I've always used reversals and some people's readings, a lot of people's readings will all be upright. It doesn't matter whether those cards are reversed or whether they're... And this is a blockage card. So this is you guys not doing anything about the situation. You are blocking the situation with the eight of coins in the reverse. 
this is simply mirroring. There's non-resolution. It's nothing to do with you, really. Or it might be. I think it's a two-way thing. There's a lack of resolution to a situation here from the King of Swords. Another individual. Mirroring again. Arguing. Arguments within the family. Ten of Coins in the reverse. With a very frustrated individual. Queen of uh, High Priestess in the reverse. But you guys decide in the end, because this, um, this is the blockage card. So it's what you do to prevent something. You guys decide not to work towards this situation. You don't want to build anything with this individual or individuals in the month of June 2018. Okay, but the universe is saying if you believe Scorpio, you can actually resolve the situation. But it just depends on how stubborn you are and how open you are to change. All right, that's your reading for June 2018, general reading for June 2018. And that can be for friendships, family, or even work environments. Depends wherever you class your family to be in a way. But yeah, thanks for your time, guys, and I'll see you on your love reading. Take care. Bye-bye.